Hi, my name is Sarah Patrick, and I am a junior at the University of Maryland College Park, double majoring in Information Science and Operations Management and Business Analytics. I am a junior fellow from the Knowledge Services Group, part of the Congressional Research Service. The project I've been working on this summer is the Quotations Database Prototype. Let's look at how a CRS reference librarian currently searches for a quotation for a congressional client. In this scenario, a member of Congress requests a quotation on freedom for their 4th of July speech. The librarian then looks through their general quotation books, one being respectfully quoted. They look for the quotations based on a keyword or subject of the topic the requester needed. Now they have a list of quotations to choose from to present to the requester. Respectfully quoted is a great resource, but there are some limitations with only the print version. First, the book is not accessible from home. This is especially important during this time since most people are working from home. Secondly, most users are more likely to go online to look for a quotation rather than using a book. Finally, users are unable to identify connections between quotations. Knowing these connections may help in finding more quotations that better fit a requester's need. My project looks at the possibility of utilizing a graph database. The platform I used for this was Neo4j and I'm going to show you how it works. Here we are in Neo4j, and on the left side we can see the node labels and relationship types. Nodes are created for every quotation, author, subject, etc., and the relationships connect the nodes together. Let's take a look at the subject nodes to find quotations about freedom. Here I can see all the subjects currently available in the database. If I click on the freedom node and choose the option to expand relationships, I can see all the quotations that have the subject freedom as well as their authors. Furthermore, I can expand the relationships of author Abraham Lincoln and see he has quotations with the subject Earth as well. This way, I can clearly see how nodes are connected to one another. There are many benefits of using a graph database for front-end users. We can clearly see the connections between nodes, allowing users to identify more quotations that could be candidates for the requester. These connections also encourage curiosity and further discovery that the user may not have been aware of before. Lastly, the user experience is enhanced by the graph with a visual experience that is easy to navigate. The biggest takeaway from this project is that we confirmed that the quotations from respectfully quoted can be converted from a print document to a visual graph database versus a traditional database. This prototype is only the first step in the great potential that digitizing the quotations have. I have had an amazing experience during my time as a junior fellow. I have made many great new connections, learned so much about the library every week, and further developed my technical skills for my future career. I wanted to thank Lisa Massengale, Liz Larson, and Lillian Gassy for being great mentors throughout my experience here at the library and their support for me and my work towards my project. Thanks so much for listening in on my project and I hope you learned something new.